Hey, how's it going? This video, we're going to be adding some scenery and we'll mainly do this through the tile map node. And let's go ahead and add the tile map node to our town. And let me drag it up here so it's rendered before our player. And let's rename this to be, I'll call it overworld tile map. Now let's go ahead and go to the right hand side and under the tile set field, let's create a new tile set. And let's click on it again. And now a window on the bottom of the screen should appear called Tile Set. And let's add a new image by clicking this plus sign. And let's go to Assets under Tile Sets. And let's start off with our grass tile set with some sand in it. Let's start off with doing the grass. So let's create a new atlas, which is just a collection of tiles. And once we click on New Atlas, a region button will appear here where we get to select the region. So let's first click on the snap button. So we have sections. And if you notice, it's not tiled correctly. But first of all, it's kind of too small. So let's click the plus button to increase the size. And we want our tiles to be 16 by 16. So let's go to the snap options. Now let's change this to be 16 and 16. And let's expand the selected tile section and change the subtile size to be 16 by 16. Control S to save. Let's drag this up. And we want to select just these four for our grass. So these are our main grass tiles. And we want to randomly select any of these four grasses. And let's rename this to be Grass Atlas. Great. Now let's click on the tile map node again. Under cell, let's change the size to be. 16 by 16. And let's go back to the tile set by clicking that. Let's click on our grass tile set. Let's click on the image. And we should be back to our grass atlas tile set. Now we want to randomly select any of these four tiles. And to do that, we can go to priority. And in priority, we see that each tile already has a one fourth chance to be selected. So that's already set up. And if we go to the overall tile map again by clicking on it and then clicking enable priority, that will randomly select the tiles. So if we try to draw in the tiles, you can see that it's randomly selected. And each tile has a 25% chance of being selected. So if you want to change the percentage, then you can just go back to the priority tab and change it. So I'm going to fill out a big patch of grass. And if we click on the bucket tool, we can fill in the grid. Now let's go ahead and add another tile set for the sand. Let's click on the tile set, click on our grass image, click here. And then you notice we're back to our grass atlas. We want to create a new tile set. So let's go here and click on new auto tile because we want to be able to auto tile this sand tile map. And the region will be this. And we'll exclude the grass tiles because that's already covered in our grass atlas. To set up the auto tiling, we have to set up the bit mask. And the tab for that is right here. So let's click on that. Let's go ahead and change the bitmask mode on this side right here to 3x3 three three minimal. So 2x2 two two won't support enough configurations and 3x3 three three minimal will work just fine for our case. Now let's draw in our bitmask. So if we come to any of our tiles, so let's just start with the top left corner. So this tile itself, if we want to represent it in bitmask, let's click on the middle. So the middle represents the current tile that we're on. And we only want to draw this current tile if this tile is drawn next to it, and this tile is drawn below it, and also this tile is drawn diagonally to it. So to represent that, we fill in those spots. So now, this tile will be drawn anytime these three tiles exist. So let's go to the next one. This tile is represented by the center tile, and this tile will be drawn if these five tiles surrounding it are drawn. So let's fill in those. And this is just symmetrical to the other side. And let's do the center one. 
So the center one is represented by the middle bit mask. And this one is drawn only if all of the surrounding tiles are drawn next to it. So let's fill in all of those surrounding tiles. So you can think of each red square representing an adjacent tile. And let's fill in the rest of this. Great. Now for the one at the bottom, it's a bit trickier, but these are corner tiles. So all we want to do is make sure to exclude the corner tiles. So we can color in everything else except for the corner. And that should be good. Control S to save. Let's go ahead and rename the name to be Sand Auto Tile for our convenience. Control S to save. And with these arrows right here, we can swap between the tile sets that we created. Oh, since we're under Collision tab, if we click Next, we'll go through each tile here. So we can just click on Region and then swap between tile sets. Great. Let's click on the Tile Map node and let's try to draw in our auto tile. Looks like it's working fine. Great. Next, we're going to add water tile sets. It's going to be the exact same thing as sand auto tiling, but it's also going to be animated, which is exciting. But first, we have to create an animated texture. So let's go on to the right hand side and you see this plus button. If you hover over it, it should say create a new resource. So we want to create an animated texture. Click create. And the number of frames is eight, if I recall correctly. And now we have a bunch of frame drop downs here. So let's expand all of that. And let's add our textures. So under assets, and under water, and we have eight images, and we'll just put that per frame. Let's make sure to save this animated texture by clicking the save button right here. Click save as and then under assets and underwater, we'll call this water texture. Click save, and now we have it saved. Great, now we can go back to our tile set. Click on that, and we wanna add a new image this time. Click add textures, and let's find the animated water texture that we just created. It's so this one, click open, and it has the animations as well. Then let's create a new auto tile, select the region, go to bitmask, and let's do the same thing that we did for the sand auto tile. We'll set the bitmask mode to be three by three, and let's fill it in. And let's rename this to be water auto tile. Control S to save. And let's go back to our tile map node and let's draw in some water. All right, let's click play. And, oh, I didn't fill in that tile, but we'll do that later. So one thing that I noticed is we can't see our water because the camera doesn't follow our player. So let's close out of this and let's quickly add a camera to our player node. Well, let me fill in that spot beforehand. Let's open the player scene. Let's press Control A to add a new node. And let's find camera and let's add camera 2D. And let's make sure that current is selected. And I also noticed some tearing while I was playing the game. So let's go to project settings and let's search for pixel snap and then under rendering and quality let's make sure that use pixel snap is set to be on great now let's click play now the player is centered and we are now able to see the water but one thing is we're able to walk on water which 
is great and all, but we probably don't want that. So we need to set up collision. Thanks for watching and take care. I'll catch you in the next video.